Well, the music behind Facing East Music really comes from a lot of different places. I mean, originally I was growing up in Connecticut, right outside New York City, so I had a lot of access to all kinds of music. So I grew up simultaneously listening to jazz, Western classical music, Indian music, pop, really everything. So this is the late, late 60s, early 70s, and the, there had been the Indian invasion with Ravi Shankar and the Beatles. And of course, I also grew up into jazz, Keith Jarrett, Chick Corea, Weather Report, John McLaughlin, Herbie Hancock, Miles Davis, John Coltrane. And at the same time, I was listening to Bach and Mozart and learning Western classical flute. But something about Indian music really grabbed me that I wanted to go further in it. And finally, after studying vocal music and many different types of Indian music, I finally went to India and started focusing on the Bansuri. I'd already been playing Western flute, but this is really a magical instrument. So uh, once I got hold of this and this beautiful sound, and I was really fortunate. I went to India for two years, and I met the great Hari Prasad Charasia. And uh, Hari Prasad is doesn't need an introduction for those people who know who he is. But if you don't know who he is, <laughs> Just an incredible musician, incredible sound, tone, really has revolutionized the use of this Bansuri instrument. And from there, um, I just became an intensive student of Indian music, never stopping playing Western music, but I became a student of Indian music and um, I went to the Rotterdam Conservatory for 12 years, got two degrees in world music. And what, ha what started to happen for me is I started writing music that was deeply influenced by the ragas. But at the same time, it had all these jazz influences that I'd grown up with. And so that's kind of how the idea of the Facing East music was born. And uh, our current lineup, we're really excited. There's just a really neat chemistry with this group. Because for this group, we really need people who are very open-minded, who can kind of go a lot of different directions. Covers. We're not just playing jazz. We're not just playing Indian music. We're kind of playing music from a lot of different places. So it takes a particular kind of open-minded musician to play with. So we're really happy to have Samrat Kakeri on tabla. Samrat, uh, his father was a great tabla maestro. So I first met Samra in Washington, D.C. in the late, uh, oh, I guess early 2005 or 2004. And I was just amazed by his sensibility and sensitivity to tabla playing. I thought I knew a lot about tabla having listened to Indian music, but he was telling me all the fine details of how these sounds are created and all the different traditions deep within tabla and he could explain how a great master like Zakir Hussain had developed and even who were the masters that he had learned from so it's been wonderful to just be with Samrat just to keep learning from him uh, also recently we've met Jason Everett on the bass Jason is also a remarkable musician because he's got these uh, he's got this ability to go a lot of different directions. He has a very natural sensibility to Indian music because he's been listening intensely to Indian music for decades himself. And he has really kind of created his own instrument, the seven string fretless bass, where he's able to do a lot of these. Indian music takes a lot of uh, in between notes. You have certain types of, they call it meaned. It's a type of gliding that happens. He's able to do a lot of these things on bass. Plus, I have come to really love the balance uh, that comes from the Bansuri, which is, of course, a more higher-pitched flute, and the bass, which, of course, is more in the lower range. But there's something very beautiful and complementary about those two instruments working together. Plus, besides having the Indian music sensibility, Jason just grooves <laughs> in the jazz idiom and the jazz sense. So he brings that real jazz and Western element to our music because it's not just facing East music is really uh, I don't know what you would call it but it definitely has strong influences in the Western music not just Indian music and then also uh, my good friend Eric Doc Smith I've, I've known Eric for over 10 years and recently we just kind of re-met I moved to the San Francisco Bay Area and it turns out Eric was living here so we reconnected and Eric again brings that real groove of the Western music. He grew up, you know, listening to the likes of Tony Williams, the jazz tradition, Billy Cobham, uh, a lot of great Western Western drum masters, and he plays drum set as well as he plays this uh, electronic zen drum. 
And so, but Eric is another one of these people that just his mind is just open to all kinds of things. He's played all kinds of music and all kinds of situations. And even his Zen drum offers a lot of flexibility. He can just not only play different drum sounds, he can import different world music drum sounds. He can actually even play chords and other types of loops on his drum. And uh, so Eric's just been a delight to play with. So this group, this Facing East Music 2015 group, is really, uh, for me, fulfilled a lot of things. I really feel excited going forward with this group because it's got the kind of open-minded people. Really, we just enjoy being around each other and just learning from each other because when you get into this world music uh, genre, you know, there's a lot of, uh, there's just so much to learn. You know, there's the beauty of the ragas, there's the beauty of jazz, and uh, there's the beauty of just how it all comes together. And uh, you really can't even intellectually plan that. It just has to be a flow that happens. But that flow happens in a group, especially when there's an open-mindedness. And I remember the first time we played together, there was just this really unique, special chemistry that you feel rarely, really, of a group of people all coming together, really listening to each other. So I'm really excited to be uh, going forward with this group Facing East Music in 2015.